Five feet nine inches, an Olympic record, and I have to mention, there is no wind in this stadium. To be throwing distances like that is very difficult in this type of an environment. Charlie? And Dwight, here is a look for the, the final of the women's 1500. Lima Balkaskaida of the Soviet Union, Doina Malenta of Romania, Tatiana Samalenko of the Soviet Union, Fatima Uam of Morocco, Lynn Williams of Canada, Kim Gallagher of the United States, and Mary Decker Slaney of the United States, Andrea Hamoun of East Germany, Chris Cahill of Great Britain, Tala Ivan of Romania, Shireen Bailey of Great Britain, and Debbie Bowker of Canada. A field of 12. And there's Pala Ivan of Romania, and she could win the gold. She has. I think they've been the best runner at this distance all summer long. She has the fastest time in the world coming into this, three minutes and 56 seconds, which in mile conversion is about 4.14 for a mile. So she's very good, but she was out sprinted by Tatiana Samalenko in the 3,000 meters. So she's a little slower than Samalenko in the sprint, but she's got a lot of strength. Runners in pairs, there are two from the United States, two from the Soviet Union, two from Great Britain, two from Romania, and two from Canada. One from Morocco and one from East Germany. Number 83 is Lynn Williams of Canada. Always a contender, and she could medal. This field, uh, this is a very strong field, Frank. It's a very strong field, and what we want to notice first off is, will it be a fast race, will someone go out really quickly, or will it be tactical? I would bet on tactics. world record and very quickly we are underway and Valley Ivan is going to go out and take the lead and Doina Malenta of Romania drops right in behind her and Mary Decker Slaney is going to tuck her way into second so she splits the two Romanians outside number 62 Debbie Bowker of Canada who you saw in the shot so Mary pacing off of Valley Ivan not taking the lead, but staying out of trouble. And this is definite decision time for Mary. She has to decide, do I go to the front, do I press the pace, or do I stay in second place? Poel Ivan just wanted to get the lead. She is not running that fast. If Mary were trying to take the lead to press the pace, she would be in front by now. Pala Ivan, Mary Sweeney, Doina Malente, Hamoun, Lynn Williams, and Tatiana Samalenko, they are the top six. Meanwhile, Kim Gallagher is running third from last on the outside, as you see there, number 567. Running last is Debbie Bowker of Canada. 413 from Morocco is Fatima Ua. And now Kim Gallagher moving up as she now passes Chris Cahill, or right behind Chris Cahill of Great Britain. We have world record pace here, Charlie. 62 seconds for the first 400 meters. That is definitely world record pace. Paula Ivan has decided she is going to run a time trial. She's going to go as hard as she can, wire to wire. So it is Pala Ivan. Mary Decker Slaney now has dropped back and she is running with Doina Malenta. Tatiana Samolenko, who is really the favorite in the race, is running fourth. And then from East Germany, Andrea Hamann. You do not run this far ahead in the Olympic final just trying to draw people out. Pala Ivan is going to go this way the whole way. Her teammate, Doina Malente, senses this closes in on her, but Paula Yvonne has gone out very fast. Picking up from the middle of the pack back, it is Lynn Williams and then Chris Cahill. And Kim Gallagher has dropped back. She is third from the last. Like Alskaita, the Soviet Union is also running near the trail end of the pack and is not in contention right now. As Paula Yvonne of Romania has opened up almost 10 meters on Doina Malente and Mary Decker Slaney, and now here comes Samalenko. This is right on world record pace. Pali Ivan has obviously decided she has to take the kick out of Samalenko. Samalenko in second place started to close that gap and then drew back, and Pali Ivan is really moving. She is on the verge of stealing this race. Meanwhile, Mary Decker Slaney has dropped back to seven. This is amazing. This is absolutely amazing. She doesn't seem to be slowing down. And she's coming to the bell lab. Pala Ivan out in front by 25 meters with one lap to go. A 60 second last 400 meters comes very close to the world record and she does not look like she's slowing down. She really isn't. She's actually started to sprint. The world record 352.47. That's what she's going after. She looks better now than she looked in the first lap. 308 for 1200 meters. She was 205 
at 800 meters, which means she ran an even faster third lap. So she ran 63 for her third lap. The race is over. She has stolen this race. What an amazing race. Now the only question is, will she break the world record? And also, who will get the silver and the bronze? Andrea Hamoun of East Germany and Tatiana Samalenka of the Soviet Union right now are battling for that, along with Chris Cahill. It is now Chris Cahill in third, Samalenko, and they're in second. But the story here is not for the silver, the bronze. This is a golden race. This is very close to the world record. It looks like she's just barely going to miss it, but this is an amazing race. It is another Olympic record. And here come the two Soviets. As by Kalskaida, who I said, remember, was trailing in the back and was almost out of it when she puts on a finishing kick. Kim Gallagher will finish next to last. Tatiano Samolenko finishes third. So the Soviet second and third. Nala Ivan of Romania with the gold. And an Olympic record in the women's 1500. And she did it all by herself. That's the hard way. We'll be back in just a moment. This NBC Sports presentation of the games of the 24th from the All right, we're back at the Olympic Stadium here. And uh, we have just seen an incredible race by Paula Ivan with the new Olympic record 353.96. Let's go down to Dave Sam. With Mary Slaney and Mary, uh, before the race, you said you try to do something a little bit different. What was your strategy going into this? Well, it was not to get caught up on the pole and get boxed in the way I've been doing since I've been here. Um, I felt a lot better today. My leg didn't hurt. Um, the race was much faster than I had anticipated. And I just thought, well, what the heck, give it a shot and see what happens. And actually, I don't know what happened because I have no idea how fast I ran. They didn't give us any lap splits in English, so I have no idea what happened. Could you believe that Paula went out so fast? I mean, she totally dominated. She surprised me because in the other races, she did lay back a little bit and let other people control the race in the earlier stages. But she obviously was after the world record today, which is it 52? Just missed it. It yeah. 52. She got 53 and something. What about, uh, you thinking about your future now? What's, uh, what's, in, what's down the road for you? Well, I'm looking forward to the next Olympics. I think this year I've been more successful than in past Olympics just by being here and actually finishing a race. Um, I think I've had bad luck in the fact that the last two months have been really up and down health-wise, but I think that in the next few years I don't want to take any more breaks for injuries or anything else, and I'd like to train and really get competitive. Mary, thank you. And here is Pala Ivan of Romania, the 27th Olympic record that has been set in track and field, 353.96. Our next event, the men's 1500.